if you read the reviews for the Monumental Movie Land Hotel, they are definitely not the best. So let's go check the room out and we'll give it a honest review. I'm not going to set my standards too high. I'm going to base this off of the price that I paid for this room. First impression, the room doesn't look too bad. It is clean. It looks like they've put a fresh coat of paint on the wall. And somebody had said that the bed was just on the floor. It's not. There's a frame made out of 4x4s, 2x4s, and some plywood. Does not look very comfortable. Like I said, though, we're going to judge it on what we paid for it, which is $40. You know what? The AC works. There's a dehumidifier. We got a microwave, a little coffee pot. As long as the TV works, let's go check out the bathroom. Hair dryer. Oh yeah, and I sat down on this earlier, and it's like... I can wiggle the whole toilet. Here's a shower. Alright, somebody said the shower pressure isn't good. So let's check it. Feels fun to me. Here's the back of the door. Could have cleaned up a little bit, but this is this though. Look at I pulled this off of the wall here. Like this is literally paper. What the hell? This was definitely not a professional job. And we have towels. Somebody had said they didn't have towels before. So towels, check. Hot water, check. Pressure for the shower, check. <laughs> well, let's hope the TV fucking works. There is no controller, so. All right, I don't think that outlet works. Cause this light doesn't work. So let's try the other one. There we go. There are some very poor patch jobs around the room. All right, let's check out this bed. So, you know, like, when you feel it, it feels nice and soft. But when you go to sit down, there's not a lot of spring there. This looks way more than what it actually is. Last but not least, let's check out the view. Get a view of the pool. The pool looks nice. Always double check your door. All throughout the hotel, there are photos of famous actors and movie posters. There is a very young Bruce Willis and Kurt Russell. I believe that photo is from Backdraft and Tom Selleck. This is uh, showing some of the poor maintenance on the hotel. As you can tell, it gets very loud in the hallways and you can hear all of that in your room as well. It stinks like reading here. I mean, I personally don't have a problem with it, 
but you have kids and stuff, or you don't want to smell weed. I was very impressed with the pool. There's a little smoking area near the pool. There is, however, this very dilapidated cabana area. I'm not sure what it used to be. The hotel also has a restaurant attached to it, Black Angus Steakhouse. One of the key features for me is it's conveniently located next to the bus stop. Whether northbound or southbound, there's a crosswalk with lights, so you can get pretty much anywhere you need to go without having to walk very far to a bus stop. Yep, so the motel is right there. There's a Waffle House, a subway next to it. There's a Thai cuisine place as well. Down right here is uh, Lost Caverns Mini Golf with live gators. That is the Twisty Treat, Smoke Shop, and Oreganada. And if you haven't watched my video on that, go check that place out. Uh, lunch buffet for $12.99. And in today's world, that's a dang good deal. Overall, I feel like this place is Orlando's hostel. I didn't see any hostels available in Orlando, but that's about what you would pay is $40. At least you get your own room. The shower works. You have a roof over your head. There's an air conditioner. You're close to the bus stop. If that's all you need, then it's a great place to stay. If not, pick another place. I hope you enjoyed the review. Thank you for watching as always. I'll see you next time.